Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Audit Rewind. If you are new here, hit subscribe and leave a like on today's video before we get started. In today's upload, we have a huge mashup of ID refusals, compilations of ID checks, and of course, First Amendment Freedom of Press audits. First up, I'm going to be reacting to a video by Paladin Press. I will leave a link down below to his channel. He is exercising his rights at a social securities office and comes across some security guards who are telling him that it is illegal to film inside of the office. So this man filming thinks that he has a right to go into the lobby area. Of course, the plain view doctrine and anywhere with public access. Many people, including a lot of us watching this, would argue that, but the security thinks otherwise and gets into a bit of a heated argument with this guy filming. So without further ado, let's begin. Just letting you know, though, I don't want you to get in trouble. Okay. You can't do it in here either because it's social security office. I'm to understand that I can at least do it in the you lobby area. Yes, you certainly can, yes. No, in the lobby Not area. In there, this, this, is least, this is least, beyond this door is the least federal office. Right, right, right. Yeah, so in here you out here you can, but not inside. I can't. Even I've know. I've read it before. I, I have too, and it's like eh, it's kind of clear as mud. The funny thing is, I've been googling some of my questions lately, and Google is actually very. But I would be careful what you listen to and watch because you never know. Oh, I know, yeah, but, but uh, I, mean, I know in here I I got in trouble once. So let's check out this sign. Yeah, right here. You know. Good. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Let me step over. Here. I, yeah, get a I, I got in trouble myself because somebody was in there taking photos. As you reach, they can't do it. I've read it, you know. I, I mean, I, I've seen it too. So I'd kind of like to. I think it might be in the offices. Yeah. So right. so law, right. So this whole thing is the right here. This beyond is all least office. Then I think they would call it the SSA a office well, it, as a whole. Yeah, I think See they that, would call it. Yeah. You no, know, they're talking about each individual office for each employee back there. But the if if they were talking about the whole thing being an office, yeah. no, no, no. I I assure you. I am allowed to be in there and take pictures no, right there. I, I assure you, you're not. I'm just telling you, you're not. Oh, I don't. I don't yeah. want to fight you no, about it, physically or <laughs> arguably or yeah, otherwise. Because no, it's expressed. You have to have written. If you get consent from our office manager and she says you want to do it because you're doing something, which is legit, that's up to you and her. This is. Um, this is a social security office. It's it's leased office right here. Yeah. Yeah. So if it was a federal building, it'd be the same thing. But this is considered leased federal. You follow what I'm saying? No, no, no. I've I've read it before. I've studied up on this, and I know I can be it. And it happens sometimes. But I know I know you're going to put up a, a a fight about that. I know that. Well, I know. I'm just telling you what I know. So. <laughs> and I don't then, plan to barge past you. Can I help you? Hi. Who are you? Uh, I'm are the you? building manager. You don't have permission to be filming anything in here. So somehow this guy has managed to get in past the security, or so that's how it seems. And obviously the security guard doesn't really have much power when it comes to this building. Obviously, Paladin isn't actually breaking the law. He's just exercising his First Amendment freedom of press right. After all this, he's now about to encounter some other employees. So we have some new characters about to be unlocked in this audit. Obviously, as long as he is not harassing people, hurting someone or, you know, causing harm, loss or injury, then in my opinion, I don't see why he should be trespassed from this property and why the cops even need to be called to this situation. It's a huge waste of police time. And quite frankly, I think the security guard needs to be educated on the First Amendment. Let's keep watching and see what happens. I'm Are the you? building manager. You don't have permission to be filming anything in here. Well, could I explain? Maybe I can change your mind about that. What are you doing? Well, taking pictures like you, you've assessed. But for what? For news purposes. News, news infor purposes? Infor infor what paper are you with? Uh, Paladin Press. I don't know who that is. You don't have permission to do that in here? You, you might not know. Uh, well, you haven't given me a chance to change your mind about that. No. Nope. I'm, I'm not trying to argue with you or anything like that. But I, I technically, legally can do this. Not without permission. Can, this is a privately owned building. I understand, but the, let me explain. Are you, who are you I'm calling? I'm calling 911. Without, I, I will forget I it ask? then. We're going to get a few pictures. Uh, I was going to spend a couple minutes in here, and I did. Got, got some pictures, and okay. also walking around the rest of this building. Um, most, most, the manager might think that it's uh, private. 
publicly owned, which is true, but they, they lease these two offices out of here. Actually, maybe even the IRS back behind there. Three offices out of here, which makes it a public property. So just came by to check on the property. They've done a lot of improvements over, over time, and I'm here to document some of those things for news purposes. And yeah, you know, basics. Oh, you were there for that one that time, you guys. Uh, so I was trespassed that day. Mm -hmm. But it didn't stick, or it didn't, you made no, wait, you, it was, you guys lied to me, basically. You, I don't maybe it wasn't you, but they, I was three buildings, including IRS, and that office, at least four offices in your private building have public offices in there. These, these, and which makes all these hallways public. No, it doesn't include, make the hallways public. It uh, makes the entryway to each of those but not all of the homes. so how can i get to those well, entry point, points you with that because you didn't ask to begin with you took pictures of my daughters who were working you took pictures of other people in this building who don't want anything to do with it it's private care you don't have the right to come in and it's do that. it's a it's 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 a quandary but but, but because you because you're renting to you're renting to the public you're renting to the right. government you're renting to me all you're right whatever me. whatever I, it's and they, so am i do, again do i have to leave under threat of arrest today am i going to be arrested or you want to put that because you know what i messed up last time he he knows and he'll have to tell you she was going to get a business card if you wanted so because you can't come back here so if you need driver services bureau she said you can go to helena Colson, Missoula, you can go to another office. You're not welcome back at this one either. So whether you think it's public or not, they don't yeah, want to. Yeah. Okay. Well, so I'm kind of the messenger right now. I'm letting you know. I want to be back today. I'm. If I, I need to go see Sergeant Bain down at the office or somewhere. Sergeant or talk Bain to is not working today. You can go find some other supervisor. Sergeant Struble is working today. If you want to talk. Well, to don't him. don't don't set the city or or the. For, uh, for, can I get this in writing? Where, where's my work? So I got to go get my jacket. Go get to my. Go find my jacket to find this trespass. So you just recorded it. You're good. No, no, that's what you did to me a couple weeks ago. You. Wow. Okay, it's kind of disrespectful how this cop dealt with the guy. In my opinion, actually just violating someone's First Amendment rights and immediately trespassing them from a building for filming and exercising their rights. It's pretty crazy. It sounds like Paladin Press knows who these cops are or who recognizes them or people that they work with, their colleagues and fellow law enforcement. Obviously if you're going into this situation where people recognize you and they just don't want to be on YouTube, then I guess you could say that maybe they have some kind of agenda against you and that they just don't want you filming, period. After all this, the cops didn't seem to even investigate what was going on. They asked a few questions and just stood there, basically saying, Hey, do you want to trespass him? Then the lady goes, Yeah, we want to trespass him. And then the cop just turns back to the guy and goes, You're trespassed, get out. Like, he asked for it in writing, and the cop's like, No, here we go, you have a verbal warning, verbal notice. So, it's on your camera, that's for the record. Guys, <laughs> this is unbelievable. I'll leave a link to his channel and the original video in the description. Please go and support him and subscribe to his channel. I'd rather not. Every once in a while, we get our chance to become famous. And while I've had my fair share of ID refusals, both when I lived in Wisconsin with my grandparents and when I live in the UK, as I currently do now, Obviously it depends what you're doing, some cops do actually have grounds and reasonable articulable suspicion, but in this next video I'm going to be reacting to a clip by The Ripple Effect, I'll leave a link down below to his work, please go and subscribe to his channel and support him. In this video he is actually faced with an ID refusal situation, a cop is demanding his ID, I'm not quite too sure why, but he decides to... Uh, defend himself and stand up for his constitutional rights refusing to give his identification unless the cop can prove that he has uh, committed a crime and is required to give his ID under the law so let's keep watching and see what happens in this clip I'd rather not well, that seems I, I've seen these videos before on online where they go viral when you do this stuff Let's Sorry. try it. <laughs> what do you need? I was just asking for your identification. I'm not giving you my ID. <laughs> That's how they say it. <laughs> Kick rocks, ass. <laughs> hey, hey, 
we could do this and we could be viral. What'd you say your name was? Garwood? Yeah. What's your badge number? 642. 642. I mean, I don't know how what he told you is any other story than what I told you. And to probably just get a hold of the landlord. <laughs> These guys wouldn't know anything. Okay. That's fine. I want to try to make a video go viral. Man, like threaten me with arrest if I don't give my ID or something. How are we going to go viral? I'm not about, I'm, I don't care if I go viral. You're about the Constitution? I'm, I'm not. Are you about the Constitution? Yeah. You Okay, that's good. Can you recite the First Amendment? Like the first five, the five aspects of it? That'd be awesome. You'd be the first officer I ever interviewed that did it. I'll help you out. We have freedom of press. What else? Free speech. Free speech. That's a good one. That's what allows me to tell you to go yourself or whatever I want to. Sometimes it can become very disappointing when cops just ID check for no reason. A lot of the people who watch my channel have commented in the past that there are some cops out there that are addicted to ID. I wouldn't go as far as to actually disagree with that because judging by a lot of these audits, they definitely are but when you think about it it's probably like police academy 101 the basic six months training if you think about it it's just id like who is this person we're dealing with can we run them through the system obviously we can go even deeper and say okay the name what is it are you a person etc but that's all just stuff that really doesn't belong on this channel and it's more to do with like sovereign citizen etc in that case though, the man decided to stand up for his rights and I respect him for what he did. I like that he added some humour into this video as well and added a unique twist to it. But the cop or the law enforcement officer here, clearly just a bit of a robotic uh, response when he said, give me your ID, I need your ID. I'll leave a link to the channel, go and subscribe. Up next we have a video by Rob Blue Love. Now, I don't know if I pronounced that wrong because it's all one word, but I will leave a link down below to his channel so you guys can support him. Go and show him some love, hit subscribe, get his followers up. So I'm going to be reacting to a moment from one of his audits. This is a really, really interesting but also confusing encounter that Rob had with the cops. So to begin with, I want to point out that in his video, the man filming says that he was driving up along the road when he noticed a cop car behind him. So I guess this is just a normal cruiser, like a squad car. And he said that they weren't abiding by the traffic laws and that they were failing to use their blinkers and also driving not professionally. So initially he pulled over and that's where the encounter begins. This is where I'm going to start from this video is one of the senior law enforcement officers who is working at this site comes over to the guy filming and starts talking to him like, what's wrong with you? Have you got a problem? And at first it seems quite friendly and respectful, but when this guy actually opens up and is honest about behavior of other officers, he kind of like uh, doesn't really regard it in my opinion. So I'll leave a link to his channel down below. Let's get straight into this. Okay. Hey, Mr. Luna, how can I help you? First, there's a pandemic, so you gotta stay six feet. Okay. And we both, don't, we both ain't wearing masks. First of all, sir, I seen uh, your... Uh, well, first of all, this officer right here was behind me the whole time, breaking uh, breaking traffic laws. He wasn't signaling. He wasn't stopping completely. So I, I'm coming towards my house right here, and I see that y'all have a juvenile hammed up. So I, I, I turn around, I park my truck, and I start recording. As soon as I start recording, this officer right here, the one you're letting leave right now, he goes up to me, he asks me, what am I doing here? I told him nothing, just minding my business. He's like, can I get your name? I told him no. So what he does, he goes in front of my vehicle and he starts running my plates, which is illegal because I haven't committed a crime, have I? Is it illegal? Is it? No, it's not illegal. It's not illegal? Okay. Run your plates, no, Okay. So once he does that, I get off my vehicle and I start recording him. From then, that's when they start telling me that I'm putting my child in danger because of what I'm doing right now. Because I have my phone out and I'm recording them. That's what the officer that took the minor told me. And then that officer that was parked right here, he said that I'll get my unemployed ass or something about that. I have it on video. He said, I, uh, Can I see that? I'll show it to you when I put it on YouTube. All y'all on YouTube. Every time, you know, y'all know about me, sir. I know y'all know about have me. I ever talked to you? I have no idea who you are. 
Well, I don't know if I, I called y'all in person to that station. I called numerous times on your on your officers being on the phone, not using their signal, rolling the stop signs, rolling past the stop signs of like the regular cops doing all that stuff. And I reported all the time and I never hear nothing back about that. And I've given y'all my phone number to call me back. Y'all never told me anything about that. And if you're their supervisor in the morning, you're the one that rolls downhill, doesn't it? You heard, so you heard about, that. You heard that saying. You talking about using blinkers? Like any, any any traffic violations, anything they get away with, it's because y'all letting them get away with it. As y'all, yeah, as you're super. I can address him not using his blinker. Well, why didn't you address him in front of me? Why did y'all just let him walk away? That's not what why, I'm why, why do you hear his side of the story and then you let him take off and then I'm you? You're listening to your side of the story, sir. I'll get with him later. You know how many times y'all told me that since I've called and everything. I still see your people on ca on on their phone, sir. I still see your people speeding, not using their signal. Y'all in our community, sir. Y'all not supposed to be harassing us, bro. Who are they harassing? Everybody. Y'all come here like y'all the damn cops. I seen y'all too. We are the police, sir. We're the police. Y'all y'all school cops, sir. Y'all okay, not y'all not have police. The same authority, the same licensing, the same everything as any other police agency. We have the same okay. Authority. So do you have to follow the same rules as them? Yeah. Definitely. Exactly. So traffic laws included, right? Absolutely. Exactly. That's all I'm asking for. The same way we follow our laws and the same way we have our kids w uh, walking around, we don't need them harassed by y'all, bro. Who's, who are they harassing, sir? The, the kids from around here. If they see any... The if, they just stopped? Besides him, he's, he's just... But did they don't even know what the situation is, sir, and you're saying that we're harassing that student. Okay, what is the situation? Do you even know? Yes, you're the did. supervisor. Yes, What's I the did. situation? He was having a bad day at school. He lives on the east side, so he walked off campus, so the officers are taking him to his home. Okay. That's what they're doing. Okay. So that he can be safe, because it's a long way. It's on East Houston Street. Okay? So these officers are trying to help that kid. They're not harassing him. They're not harassing him. So handcuffing him is helping him by taking him back? I don't know why they handcuffed him. Alert. Would you not? If you're doing your job, whatever it is that you do, I don't know what you do. So we're going on hypo to we're going on hypotheticals. We're going on hypotheticals now. No, we're not going on hypotheticals. Yeah, yeah, we are. So the cop is going hypothetical in my opinion. He's giving examples and while one people, you know, one group of people could say that this cop is being relaxed and friendly, I would say that he's become a bit unprofessional and if anything, he's become a bit petty. He's trying to argue with this guy. Rather than looking at the facts, they seem to just be going around in circles, having an argument about an interaction that this auditor was actually a witness to the other day. So if you're ever a witness to anything and you feel the need to protect yourself, there's no better way to do it than to film. This is so good for the record as it keeps a record, it is transparent and it keeps people accountable because if people lie or make up false stories, then the footage is going to state otherwise. You know, it's been millions of times in my life where I wish I had a camera on me or a dash cam. For example, only a few months ago, a lady reversed into my car in a parking lot and decided she was going to just drive off. Yep, that's right. She didn't even put any details or insurance on my windscreen. She done, She basically reversed into the back of my car, left a massive dent, three huge scratches and drove off. And the really annoying thing is, in this parking lot, there were no cameras or CCTV. Well, hey. So what can we learn from this? Take cameras everywhere, if you can. It's fantastic. I'll leave a link down below to this channel if you want to know more about what happened here, or if you have any questions for the original creator. I came in here with... This next interaction is extremely interesting. It features an officer who is actually a chief of police, Having an interaction with Sean, literally everyone on this channel knows who Sean is, the creator of Long Island Audit. He is exercising his First Amendment rights for accountability and he comes into contact with one of the highest ranking officers or the highest ranking officer in this department. Now the interaction was going just fine, but it turns a bit sour halfway through this clip where the chief seems to get really sarcastic and there was another word that you got, someone commented, I was lost for the word and one of my subscribers helped me out, I read it. Because I do read the comments you guys, I don't respond but I do read them. So he gets sarcastic in my opinion and starts acting really demeaning towards Sean and it turns out he actually knows who Sean is but he just can't remember him because he's recognized his voice and he's seen him on YouTube before. 
So this is a really interesting audit that I wanted to react to and feature on this channel and as always I'll leave a link down below to the original version. I came in here with okay. secret sunglasses okay. would you would, would yeah. <laughs> nobody would know okay. right? It's reasonable. Okay. That's all. But okay. just just you shouldn't put your hands on people like well, that. Well, yeah, I was with the police, so I just touched ears. No, and I'll let it go and laugh. Yeah, no, you're trying to push me. That don't do that, please. I would appreciate. I, if I did okay. that to you, what would happen? Well, no. If you just said, "Hey, how you doing?" I'd be okay with that. If I started pushing you, what well, would I do? What would me, happen? I'd push you, though. Yes, you did. Okay, but, then, but whatever. It okay. doesn't matter. Thanks, well, chief. All film, we're filmed in here anyway. Exactly. There's cameras yeah, here. There's cameras here, so if you need and they're public record. The and they're public. They're public record on the camera. Well, you're not the guy on the TV. Uh, see you on the YouTubes. Who? Who is that? I forget. I forget the name. Are you this? Oh, I don't, I don't know. know. What? I don't know about YouTube. YouTube sir. Oh, that's yeah, great. That's good. I, yeah. I, that's good for transparency you purposes. You that's good for. I don't want to answer any questions, sir. Why not? I answered your questions. What question did you answer? My name. Your name. My name's Sean. What's your last name? I'm not going to give you my, my last name. name. You're you're the public servant, I gave sir. You my name. So you're you're, you're not cowardly enough. You're, you're the, give me your name. You're, you're the scared? you're the public. Ser see, you're trying you to. You are not. I'm just asking you. See, uh, you're doing exactly what you want us not to do. But you sir, I told you my first name. And I told you my name. My name's Michael Kelly. Okay. And I just asked you your name. But you sir, don't have to tell you, me. Yeah, that's your policy here to to, to disclose you know, your name. You don't feel like you feel like you're doing something you don't want to say it, or you just feel no. I just I told I just don't like. I don't give everybody my full name. I no. I don't. Don't, I just don't I, like I'm, police officers that push me. That's the I, only type I don't of police. Like people that's make things up <laughs> that's the only type of police you I don't mean, like I don't that like push me. <laughs> well, every other police officer is okay. Just the ones that push me are no oh, good. I don't like the people that make things up. Everybody else is okay, but not the liars. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, I don't give my first and last name to everybody I come in contact okay. with. So I told okay. you my first name, Sean. I'm an independent journalist. Okay. I'm just working on a story. I was just over yeah, in... I'm just asking. I'm just saying it to you nicely. See, because what happens is, yeah. from the district attorney, because we have certain records back in here, yeah. so we said that, can you fill in the lobby? Well, legally, no. legally, there's case law that the onus no. would be on you to protect those have, records. No, you can't film through the glass. This is, this is public property, mm -hmm. which we have standing with. Yeah. So if I tell somebody they're allowed to be in this lobby, I can t ask them to leave. Yeah. And they have to leave. Because it's maybe public property, but we have standing. You, you know what standing is? Standing to do what? Standing to kick anybody right? out? Yes. The, whoever Same you, you want. Have, you have property, like you own Walmart. It's, but it's not your property. It is. I have standing. So you don't, you know, you're loyal. Did you go to law school? No, uh, did you? No, I didn't. Oh, you did the six months training. Well, it's a lot did, of masters. You did that. You did the six state. months training you know, for the, uh, you did the six months training that you all police officers right? get, right? <laughs> well, I did that too. And also 10, 10 weeks in the FBI National Academy. Oh, I'm okay. giving you my whole record. Cool. That's nice. How about you? Where'd you go? That's nice. Oh, I don't answer questions. Gee, are you, why are you scared? No, no, not at all. Oh. If I was scared, I would have ran out of here the moment you started no, pushing me. Like you have it smart like that. Oh yeah, I won't answer questions. No, I just don't want, it's, I know you're it's, it's, it's my fine. right. Obviously I'm filming. Okay. Obviously, I'm filming. Yes, it's my okay. right, okay. and it's my right not to answer questions to law enforcement. Respectfully, well, I'm not being disrespectful to you in any way. I'm just telling you in that. In any way, you're not. No. No, yeah, I didn't say you were. Okay, great. Good. I don't. I, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't say you were. I just asked you're your name as guy. a man, as a gentleman. Yeah, you and I told you my name is Sean. I asked your last name, just, but if you're afraid, do you tell your I, last name to everybody on the street? I'm a police officer. If people I'm talking to, I do. Yeah. Uh, everybody on the street came up to you. Am I everybody on the so street? So somebody came up to you and started pushing you and said, what's your last name? On the street? I don't know who you are. Yeah, I, you're, the chief, know who I you're the chief of police. You're the chief of police. You're the chief of police. And you should respect my rights and honor the oath to the Constitution. What private... So this, to me, was behavior of basically asserting dominance. There are multiple ways you can assert dominance. Obviously, there's a physical way, which is the most simplest and raw. But there's also psychological ways. And I think that there is a kind of a patronizing, that's the word, I think that was it, patronizing sarcastic tint and element to this audit that the chief is kind of demeaning Sean in a way that, you know, he's talking to him a bit funny, he's bringing up weird questions. Obviously, Sean's giving it back as well, so it's like a bit of a banter contest. But the whole thing about, oh, the chief tapping him on the shoulder or saying, uh, you know, I guess if you're going to consider that assault, then you're a bit sour. But at the same time, the cop could be trying to use that as an excuse to, you know, touch Sean, which is kind of weird. But <laughs> I guess it's just uh, a theory, in my opinion. So overall, this audit shows that sometimes when two powerful people meet, each uh, the beacon of one community, you have a high-ranking officer with a high-ranking auditor, if you will, 
then it shows kind of really interesting results because I think they had a playoff with how powerful they both are. And although it didn't really come to anything, I still wanted to feature it as I found it really exciting in the, in the spur at the moment. What do you guys think? Comment down below your opinions and I'll leave a link to the original down below. So you guys, that is the end of today's video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you're new to this channel. This is Audit Rewind and I'm your host commentator. Thank you everyone for the support over the last few months. This is now 2024. Wow, didn't 2023 go so fast? If you're out there doing your auditing or activism and you want me to support your channel, shout it out. Then send me an email and maybe I will if I check it over. And as long as there's no violence or any kind of hate or physical stuff, then it's all good to go. I'll more than happily react and criticize your audits. So yeah, hope you had a good holidays and I'll catch you tomorrow evening. Peace out.